Hey everybody, I'm Q. Uh, since you guys probably don't know who the heck I am, imagine Kylo Ren had the hygiene of Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> like, I'm definitely gonna flip a table over if you lose track of a robot. And nobody told me that two bags of chips isn't a real dinner. I got one of those faces where I just look like I'm mad all the time, you know? Like, it's not, I'm not actually mad, it's just the way my face looks. Like, I think it's the eyebrows, right? Because you have big honking eyebrows like this, and the whole world just assumes that you're like a misanthrope, right? Like, this is a historical thing, like you'll get famous guys like uh, Samuel Clemens. I mean, you guys have seen like Nietzsche's eyebrows, right? <laughs> Me either. I just wanted to think I was smart. <laughs> Doesn't work if I smile either. If I smile, I just think I'm being a shitty ass smug guy. There you go. I'm, I'm genuinely happy. No, I just look like. I just look like I won an argument on uh, how to pronounce the word misanthrope. <laughs> um, I, get, I get in trouble a lot with comedy because I, like I like to keep it real. I like to keep it too real, you could say. I, can't, I have trouble telling jokes that aren't based on facts and truth. Uh, so with no further ado, I'm going to launch into a bunch of those. Um, why, did, why did the chicken cross the road, you guys? Because some dumbass doesn't understand how to use chicken wire. <laughs> if I see that thing on my side of the street again, I'm calling the DNR. Uh, that joke works a lot better in states where it's abbreviated as the DNR and not whatever it is here in Iowa. I've forgotten. What's the, what's the natural resources here in Iowa? Oh, thank God. Thank God, it's just a shitty joke. Oh, I was really worried for a second. How many Korean guys does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one. <laughs> Provided as the tools and the means to do so. Just like anybody else. <laughs> Although if he's getting up on a ladder, he should have somebody probably hold the ladder. I mean, that's just common sense. Like, you don't, don't fuck around with ladders. <laughs> ladders are... Uh, <laughs> Don't, don't keep trying to tag a joke, you just move, just keep moving. <laughs> knock, knock. Yeah. You guys know my name by now, I just said it when I was yelling at myself about that last joke. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete's. <sighs> this is going great. No, not, not, uh, no, I'm doing great. I just uh, don't have notes, because uh, I'm trying to do this thing where I don't use notes ever again for my whole life. And it's going great so far, let me tell you. Just the most perfect thing. I'm losing myself. I need one of my jokes. <laughs> I need to remember one of them. Oh, man. What, what do you think I can read out of that, Mr. Bronson? Ugh. Oh, you guys, why did the elephant cross the road? Why? Some dumbass still doesn't understand how chicken wire works, am I right? Why does he even have an elephant? <laughs> is Bill the Menagerie over there? They say that the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the whole world to eat that stick of butter that one time. <laughs> and I think they're right. Because sometimes you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar is the one with the high-powered bar-hunting rifle. This summer, the hunter becomes the hunted in Bar Hunter 2. Dude, where's my bar? <laughs> hunting rifle. That, that's about what that deserved. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna do something a little edgy for you guys. There's a, I like to do this impression of uh, Tony from West Side Story, you guys familiar with the play West Side Story at all? Yeah. Thank God. Uh, this is my impression of Tony from West Side Story. If instead of going to the big dance with Riff, 
Uh, he had to stay in because he had, he, he was on the toilet all night. Like, he just had, like, butt problems, like, uh, like, you know, like some, like, loose stool. So this is my impersonation of what the song Maria from West Side Story would be like if uh, Tony stayed home all night with butt problems. <laughs> The most beautiful sound I ever heard. But problems, but problems, but problems, but problems. All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. But problems, but problems, but problems, but problems. But problems, but problems. But problems. But problems. I just met a girl named But Problems, and suddenly I found how wonderful a sound can be. But problems. I just kissed a girl named But Problems. That's about where that should end. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want you guys over, I should probably talk about some serious stuff, right? It's time for social issues. You guys ever think about hamburger sandwiches? <laughs> it's a serious thing. You guys, the hamburger sandwich was invented in 1890, right? 1890, by like six different parties. The cheeseburger sandwich, you guys? You guys, the cheeseburger sandwich? That wasn't invented until the roaring 20s. That's 30 years. 30 years it took. Einstein figured out gravimetric waves before we figured out the cheeseburger sandwich as a whole. Like, think of how many millions of people died thinking, oh, the hamburger sandwich? That's the best burger sandwich I've ever had. They went to their graves. Mark Twain died thinking, oh, great. The best uh, burger sandwich I'll ever eat is definitely a hamburger sandwich, and that's how he died. He went out with Haley's Comet well before the 20s. <laughs> and it was like that until one fateful day, some amazing hero was just grilling burger patties on his grill. Keep in mind this is a flat top grill. Not like one of those fancy charcoal, but why would you even build one of those in the 20s? That's not a thing. Grill, and he turns to the other person that's there in order to make the scene work, and he says, hey. And the other person says, uh, what's going on? And then he says, I need like deli thin cheese, like sliced cheese. Can you, can you get me some sliced cheese? I don't know, man. Those are, those are hamburger patties you got on that grill. I don't even know exactly uh, what you think you're doing, but those don't get cheese. Hamburger sandwiches are a cheeseless sandwich. And then he, he mustered his courage, took a, took a deep breath and said, I know. I'm about to make something very much better. And then the guy handed him the cheese, which I didn't bother miming because it's really hard to mime handing someone something and then also then mime receiving something from someone. It's much harder than it is to mime opening up a Kraft Singles wrapper and then placing a single slice of cheese on it and then the other half of the slice of cheese because Kraft Singles wrappers were designed by Nazis. <laughs> And he stood there staring at his creation. Uh, are you just gonna leave that Kraft Singles wrapper on the floor, dude? Because I'm not picking it up. This is your this is your whole cheeseburger revolution bullshit. Yeah, but the set's over, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. <laughs>